Hi everybody, a little uh, Friday update for you. Cold again this morning, so uh, what time is it? It's 9.23, so these are 9 o'clock readings. Interesting, because the east wind, again, when the, when the wind moves the air, you don't settle and get cold at night. When you have calm conditions and clear skies, the temperature nosedives to the dew point. And remember, the east winds infect in drier air from central and eastern Oregon and Washington, so that drops the dew point, allows you to get even colder if you don't have any wind speed. So here we are, 36 with some east wind, just a three, doesn't take much, out of PDX after being in the 20s overnight earlier this morning. Trout to 37, east winds to 23, gusting into the 30 plus mile per hour range. There's Hillsboro, no wind at all, north at zero at 28 degrees. And, and you can see that, again, that gra I need to replace that Gresham site that's not right, 53, but all these other temperatures are correct. So there's the cold weather out in Hillsboro, 31 up in Woodland, 28 degrees down in Woodburn. I will say, that with the temperature inversion expected to break down and end overnight tonight into tomorrow, the air stagnation advisory that we've had will be allowed to expire at 4 p.m. today. Now, the good news is air quality has been good to moderate all week, so we never really developed any issues. But as the east wind starts to fade in the gorge tonight, that could open the door to get some fog pockets tomorrow morning, which you really haven't had much the last couple of days. So we're watching uh, all of that. Let me just go ahead and get right to the seven day. And a reminder, a lot of what I'm going to say you can read down here. So always take the time to read my forecast. Don't just simply pull up the graphic and and look at it. So with that said, let me blow this up a little bit and, uh, and we'll get you going. So today it's all sun, 48 degrees, maybe 50, 51 in a few spots. East winds gusting to 30, 35 out near the gorge. Those winds calm tonight. If they calm enough, we open up the chance of getting some frosty fog in the morning. And then we'll see how long that takes to clear. Indications are it would clear during the day. With still an east wind overall. We get back up near 50. You wake up Saturday, Sunday morning, it's cloudy. And because of that, temperatures are above freezing. We have some rain coming in first thing in the morning. This is a weakening system. It doesn't plow right into us. It kind of leaks down from the northwest. So, if anything, rain probably increases somewhat during the day. It looks like it could be up to a quarter of an inch of rain. may not be that much. And then rain in time Sunday into Monday. Total here, less than a half of an inch, or maybe closer to about 35,100. So, again, not a ton. Um, I'm going to show you the Mount Hood forecast in a second. And then you have a shower chance Tuesday, a day that may just stay dry. Wednesday's dry. Right now, there's a bit of moisture coming off of another upper-level ridge spilling into us Wednesday overnight Thursday. That would be maybe a 10, 15, 100 of an inch of rain, not a ton. And then we could go dry again, it looks like, on Friday. I do want to, since I mentioned it, I want to talk about snow levels real quick. So for that, we want to go to my Mount Hood ski forecast page. So here we go. Again, the point of these YouTube videos and my Portland Weather Facebook page is to make you aware of my weather site, portlandweather.com, and my app. If you do a simple search, Portland Weather, separate words, um, we'll be one of the first ones that come up on your iPhone or Android. So, beautiful bluebird day again up on Mount Hood. Right now, 32 at Timberline, 35 minutes, 34 ski ball. If you scroll down, you get that government camp camera, 35, clear pavement there. And then here are the snow levels. So, dry, dry. Sunday, snow level 5,000 feet to start. So, that's a wet mix, perhaps, of meadows. And rain at government camp. And then 3,000 feet later in the day gives me a forecast of 2 to 5 inches of snow on Sunday. And if anything... If anything, lesser amounts. Maybe it's more like one to three. So again, not a lot. And then Monday, now the snow level 2,000, maybe down to 1,500 feet. Could be some heftier showers with a west flow hitting the mountain. So we'll hope for two to five inches, or maybe it's more like four to six. So that's a forecast. And then Tuesday, I mentioned it could be completely dry. So again, great resource here. If you're traveling, here's a reminder what all the pass elevations are. All your resort links, if you want to check out the individual ski resort locations. More uh, cameras down here, including Cabbage Hill out east, and real quick, including uh, where's Siskiyou Summit? Uh, where's Siskiyou Summit? Don't make a liar out of me. Uh, where did I put it? Anyway, <laughs> Siskiyou Summit is here. I just can't find it right now. Right there it is. Okay, that's all clean. If you're going to California, that's clear. That's 36 degrees. So my point is there, lots and lots of great information. Again, there's your day planner. Enjoy the sunshine today. The coast probably clouds up tomorrow, and then we'll have rain at the coast Sunday too. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. If you are going out the gorge and you want wind, Crown Point was still gusting to 60 this morning. Again, those winds fade away tonight into tomorrow morning. Have, pardon me. <coughs>
Have a good weekend. And let me say go Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday. I'll talk to you later.